All right. Next, we'll be moving on to the extensive challenges. So the first question for the extensive challenges is very much like the question we did in、um, the lesson. But well, that question was wrong. That question was wrong. All we need to do is just again to utilize the factor theorem for it, such that we are going to have x adding y take away two being zero, and that's going to be a factor of this expression. So in that case, we can definitely solve x adding y equals two, right? And now, with just that piece of information, of course, I can take different values for x and y. But if we want to find out the value of a adding b, it means that it would be best if I have the coefficients there for a and b being the same in this equation. So let's say I am guessing. X y equals y squared. When x y is equal to y squared, it means that x is equal to y, or y is equal to zero, right? So of course, if y is equal to zero, then a and b would be meaningless because anything multiplied to zero will be zero, right? So it doesn't really matter what the value of them is. So I would like to choose x equals y, which means that x is equal to y, and that's equal to y. Now we just need to substitute f x y equals f one one, and that's going to be equal to one squared, which is one, adding one times one times a, that's a, adding one times one times b, that's b, take away five, adding one, adding six equals zero, and that's solved. Basically, I have eight to go away five. That is three adding a adding b equals zero, which means a adding b is minus three. Okay, so that's how we can solve this first question in the extensive challenges.